scripture passage, I feel like it's hard to say anything more about it because it speaks um, so much for itself and for the situation that we were that we find ourselves in today. Especially that part um, about this is a large work I have called you into, but don't be overwhelmed by it. It's best to start small. And so I see the ways in which. Um, it looks like we're starting small together, and yet we're doing such big things. And so today, um, Tina Didrick bring back the, we'll do that next week. Okay, so next week we'll be putting in the um, little library that Libby and Loudon and Sylvie brought for us. And that's like a big thing, that's very exciting. And then at the end of September, we'll have a brand new tent. Um, <laughs> the purchase order and paid for that, so that tent will be more permanent and a little bit bigger, and so that's um, a little big thing that we're doing. But one of the little big things that we've been doing together is sharing the vision of this community while we're living into it, figuring out what it looks like. And this isn't necessarily new to most of us. Since 2013, Libby, at least, has been hearing me talk about it at the City of Aurora. And what I've been noticing is that there is no way to predict if people will understand right away what we're talking about. So this week was filled with multiple opportunities to talk about the land, one being at the neighborhood meeting at um, E470 Neighbors which I was very, very nervous about. Clyde said I looked relaxed, but I did not feel relaxed at all. And there was a moment in the meeting where I was explaining that we are a new faith community that gathers people together on food, faith, and farming, and these are the things we have planned for development. And I felt it was towards the end of that, saying everything that I had to say. And one of the gentlemen said, well, do you have a church? And so I started saying, yes, we gathered together on Saturday morning. And somebody interrupted me, no, rescued me, because the question that I was answering to them wasn't the question that he was asking. And the man shouts across the table, lovingly, in kind of a joking way, you don't need a building to have a church. <laughs> And it was a great reminder that what we're doing out here does require some translation. And the scripture today, to me, is a reminder that the work we do and the words that we speak do represent God's love and mission in the world. And so, as much as it can feel we need to focus on the saying the exact right thing, what really we're invited to focus on is the way in which we say them. With love, with gentleness, with support. This past Sunday at Grace United Methodist Church on the Land Launch Preaching Tour, the pastor of that church is not full time and the church is struggling. And there were maybe 35 people in the congregation and they were warm and loving. It was evident that they're doing God's work in the world. And Pastor Laura decided that they were going to do a special offering for us out here. And she stood up and she said, this is a new ministry, and we need to support them because they're going to have lots of costs. And I'm thinking to myself of the tent we just purchased. <laughs> and they're going to have a full-time pastor, and they're going to need support. And so we're going to do a special offering for them today. Those 35, 40 people, they collected $314. They gave money to something that they themselves don't have. And this, to me, is what the scripture is all about, coming around each other in the community and offering to each other the love of Christ that we've felt and maybe even the love of Christ that we haven't felt yet. Knowing that receiving God's love is a reminder that we're supposed to give it to one another in this place. And so, no matter how overwhelming our individual lives feel, our corporate lives feel, we are reminded to start small. And that when we don't know what to say, sometimes it's okay to just sit silently with somebody and hold their hand. When we don't know how to make something better, maybe we send flowers like we did this week. But showing up and being present to one another in a loving and grace-filled way is the work that we're called to do, whether we were outside in this prairie or inside a city. And so today we celebrate 
would call to be disciples in the 21st century by celebrating communion together. A table that's open to not only all of us gathered here as humans, but all of creation that wants to celebrate and belong in God's community. And so, Fiona, do you want to help me? And maybe Sylvie, do you want to help me?